Welcome to Edina's 26th Annual 4th of July Parade, brought to you by the Edina Community Foundation and the City of Edina. I'm Dietrich Nissen. Before the parade begins, City Council Member James Pierce and his daughter Olivia will pay tribute to America with the singing of the National Anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, o'er the ramparts we watched, were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah, the United Public Safety Team kicks off today's parade. Motorcycle Officer Jaron Zeck was followed right here by the Edina Fire Department. Members of the Edina Fire Department are participating in today's parade with their families. Their equipment includes a fire tower that you just saw, the ECMO 99 uh, rescue trucks, ATV, and support vehicles. Wow. There in the red SUV is Dyna Fire Chief Andrew Slama. Very nice man. You ever get the chance to meet him? And behind the Edina Fire Department come the Metro Marines. It's a veteran service organization representing the U.S. Marine Corps in various capacities during the year. With three platoons, one in Champlin, Anoka, Hastings, and Forest Lake, the Metro Marines hold regular meetings and monthly dinners to network and plan upcoming activities. Membership is open to any Marine, male or female, who has served, is retired from, or is currently serving in the U.S. Marine Corps, or was a Navy Corpsman who served with the Fleet Marine Force. And I know you can hear that. It's the Minnesota pipe and drums. 
They're a nationally recognized competition and performance bagpipe and drum corps based in Minneapolis. Established in 1963, the band performs throughout the year at parades, concerts, and global competitions. They offer lessons to piping and drumming students of all ages and backgrounds. The group's mission is to carry on the rich history and heritage of Scottish music by performing for the community and making lessons available to all free of charge. Then, in 1971, a small group of commemorative Air Force members in Minnesota came up with this radical idea. Let's form our own wing to help distribute the mission of our organization. So, on July 1st, 1971, the Southern Minnesota Wing was formed and officially became the first CAF unit ever created. With that simple idea and gathering the support of 25 members, the Southern Minnesota Wing began its career as the Northern Maintenance Arm of the CAF. Well, as you can see, Dinah's 4th of July festivities would not be possible without the generosity of many sponsors. Crown Bank is the first sponsor to be recognized today. Crown Bank was the sponsor of the fireworks display last night at Roslyn Park. The theme of this year's parade is Edina United, celebrating our past, present, and future. We just saw many of our treasured veterans representing our past, while well, each is considered a Grand Marshal of the parade. Another Grand Marshal is Edina Public School Superintendent, Dr. Stacy Stanley, representing the communities present. Our future is our community's youth, represented by the school bus, and connecting with Kids Award recipients, Lila Emerson and Claire Wegman Kreider. Also, Zoya, Abid, Ava, Benjamin, Jaden, and Derek. Rising juniors at Edina High School, the girls established the Her Next Play Edina Girls Sports Summit Community Impact Fund and have planned and executed two extremely successful sports summits to promote girls continuing to play sports. And followed by them, you can hear them right now, the Edina Middle School and Alumni Marching Band. Geneva Fitzsimmons and Melody Snyder coordinate the Edina Middle School and Community Marching Band. The band is made up of Edina alumni band members and students in the Edina Bands program in grades 7 through 10. Go Hornets of all ages. Now right behind them, U.S. Senator Amy Klobuchar is the first woman elected to represent the state of Minnesota in the United States Senate. She is currently in her second term.
We also have a banner for our presenting parade sponsor, M Health Fairview. M Health Fairview Southdale Hospital is an acute care hospital providing medical care for the southwest suburbs. Fairview Southdale employs more than 2,000 people and it supports the work of many philanthropic and community groups throughout Edina. Next up, it's the two biggest clubs here in Edina. So it's the Rotary Clubs of Edina and Edina Morningside. The mission of Rotary is service above self. There are two clubs and both meet at the Edina Country Clubs. Now the clubs are the flag sponsor of the parade. Rotarians are handing out 3,000 small flags as they walk this parade route. The Rotary Club of Edina is representative by new president Joe Hayes, who's riding with his wife Chris in Key Cadillac's Bicentennial 1976 El Dorado Convertible, Luis. The Rotary Club of Edina is Edina's largest service organization and meets at 12.15 p.m. on Thursdays at the Edina Country Club. Also, members of the Rotary Club of Edina Morningside are with them. They meet at the Edina Country Club at 7.30 a.m. on Tuesdays. The president right now is Brad Johnson, who just stepped into the role, and the club is representative by president-elect Dr. Afira Hassan, riding in a vintage 1960 Corvette owned and driven by past president Doug McElrath. And right behind the Rotarians are some more Rotarians. Jim and Ann Platt own Pets Are In. Pets Are In is a silver sponsor of the parade. With Pets Are In, pets stay in private homes, not a brick and mortar facility, while their owners go on vacation. This eliminates stress for both pets and their parents. And right behind them, the Minnesota Superheroes United is a group of superhero and villain character costumers who appear at charity events, PR events, parades, conventions, hospitals, and more throughout the Twin Cities. The superheroes are sponsored by the Rotary Club of Edina, Everyday Superheroes. And behind them is Members for Dean Phillips for Congress. Dean Phillips is a DFL candidate for the 3rd Congressional District, as well as Governor Walls. In 1999, the Jack Brass Band is the only New Orleans-style brass band in Minneapolis, and its members are the ambassador of the Crescent City's brass band tradition. The Jack Brass Band embraces the traditions of New Orleans jazz at the same time adding old-time blues, rock, hip-hop, pop, funk, and reggae. And right behind them are the Dyna Community Foundation, it organizes Edina's Independence Day festivities. The foundation is hosting a new fundraiser, the Lucky Duck Race. The race will take place 6 p.m. on July 13th at Minnehaha Creek in Arden Park. Ducks cost $200 and the winner will designate a $1,000 grant to the charity of their choice. It's a fun opportunity to connect with other people in the community and support the foundation's programming. And behind them, the Anti-Racism Collective is walking. 
Anti-Racism Collective fosters unlearning of racism and white supremacy in the place we live, work, and raise our children. Through small group discussion and activities, the Anti-Racism Collective of Edina creates a community for neighbors to unlearn, relearn, and get active. Behind them was representatives for U.S. Representative Ilan Omar, and behind them, Moms Demand Action. Moms Demand Action is an organization dedicated to raising awareness of gun violence and supporting common sense gun laws. Right behind them, the Lakeville North Marching Band is known for its traditional high-step march and shoulder swing style and has appeared in parades around the country, including the Tournament of Roses Parade and the 2005 Presidential Inaugural Parade. Put your hands together and get your groove on for a mashup of songs from Minnesota's own Lizzo. Excellent. Matthew Wonkin directs the band with assistant Matt Nielsen, Melissa Nielsen, and Amy Reavers coach the color guard. The drum majors are Kayla Anderson, Annika Gorg, and Gabe Finney. And behind that wonderful band comes State Representative Heather Edelson, who's running for re-election for the Minnesota House of Representatives this November for the newly created District of Edina and a portion of Bloomington. With her is Dr. Alice Mann, a family medicine physician also running to represent Edina and Bloomington in the Minnesota State Senate. She currently works in the emergency room and is actually a former member of the Minnesota House of Representatives. And behind them, the Edina Asian American Alliance is a grassroots coalition of parents, students, and community members allied in deep commitment to our Asian and Asian American youth in Edina public schools and the broader community. The group is affiliated with the Coalition of Asian American Leaders to best partner and support school district administration. And behind them, an annual favorite group of mine, Edina's own Jugheads have appeared in every 4th of July parade. Paul and Wendy Armberg started this fantastic group when they were advisors for Wise Guys, an after-school activity program for preteen students in Edina. As interest in juggling grew larger and larger, they created Jugheads, which now involves hundreds of kids from Edina and neighboring cities. Members and alumni from Jugheads have performed all over the United States, winning awards for their extraordinary skill. And behind the Jugheads, Mayor Jim Hovland is Edina's longest serving mayor. He's riding with his wife, Lorraine, in Tom Olson's vintage Cadillac. It's a 1962 El Dorado Barrett. It was originally purchased by the city of Oklahoma City as a parade car. Note, Tom likes to wear a polo shirt matching his lilac Cadillac.
In 1971, a small group of commemorative Air Force members in Minnesota came up with this radical idea to form their own wing in order to help distribute the mission of their organization. On July 1, 1971, the Southern Minnesota Wing was formed and officially became the first CAF unit ever created. And with that simple idea and gathering the support of 25 members, the Southern Minnesota Wing began its career as the northern maintenance arm of the CAF. The CAF was founded to find, restore, and preserve in working condition a complete collection of combat aircraft and vehicles flown by all military services of the United States and selected aircraft and vehicles of other nations. They do this all for the education and enjoyment of present and future generations of Americans. And right now you're seeing the Red Bull Historic Vehicle Association. Now Red Bull members range in age from 19 to 93 and their vehicles range from military mules to HMMVs. Their interests range from World War II reenactments to static vehicle displays at the World of Wheels, from convoys to honoring our country's veterans. The Red Bulls are an affiliate of the Military Vehicle Preservation Association, which has approximately 150 members, primarily in Minnesota and western Wisconsin, with members in 11 states and overseas. And behind them, MN Force has some of the best costume characters in Minnesota. Do you recognize any of them? I sure do. But where's Darth? Where's Darth? Is that guy a samurai? That's pretty awesome. I like that costume. Not gonna lie, guys, I wanted to see a fight, though. Lightsaber battles all the way. I just watched Obi-Wan taking it up to a 10. All right. And behind them, oh, is Explory Dyna. Explory Dyna is the other presenting sponsor of today's parade. Explory Dyna is a destination marketing organization. When visitors plan their trip to Edina, they explore Edina, where sophistication is in store. And the League of Women Voters of Edina is right there. It's a nonpartisan organization encouraging, informing, and av informing active participation in government and influencing public policy through education and advocacy. The League of Women Voters of Edina's goals are to grow, empower, and protect the vote to make democracy work for all. And right behind them, we also have a banner for one of our broadcast sponsors, Edina Magazine. The magazine's coverage is fresh and friendly with a commitment to living in and enjoying the Edina community. And behind them, the Edina Girl Scouts, SU-138, has long been active in the Edina 4th of July parade. And plus, they have some amazing cookies, so definitely support the Girl Scouts. Great group. Oh, it almost feels like I'm on vacation. Those tin cup steel drawn ensemble presented by Chops Inc. can be found throughout the Twin Cities metro area and beyond at numerous parades and festivals. Tin Cups is the premier parade steel drum band in the Midwest. Let's take a listen. Behind them, Think Bank is another broadcast sponsor represented by a banner.
And behind Think Bank, the Dyna Swim Club. The Dyna Swim Club is a youth swim club with over 300 members from ages 6 to 18, plus a master's program for those between the ages of 18 and 99. These swimmers participate in competitions all over the country, as well as locally. And by and them, Accredited Investors is another broadcast sponsor represented by a banner. You want your money to support your values, not to define them. Accredited Investors will help you design the life you imagine for yourself, your family, your future, and your dreams, now and for generations to come. Spend your life wisely. And behind them, the Dyna Football Association. And behind the Dyna Football Association, we have the Senate District Republicans. So the first John Philip Sousa Memorial Band was formed in 1970 by a group of Edina High School graduates. The Sousa Band entertains year-round packed houses at Edinburgh Park, Centennial Lakes, and parks throughout the Twin Cities. Now last year, the Smith Carriage Company carried the first John Philip Sousa Memorial Band in the parade. Earlier this week, Ben Smith was run over by one of his horses and died. On behalf of the city of Edina, Edina Community Foundation, and the Sousa Band, I wish to express our deepest sympathies to the Smith family. Special thanks to Jake Farrell and Driftwood Property Services for driving the Sousa Band in today's parade. Driftwood Property Services is a lawn care service working in the Edina area. And behind them, Republican Cicely Davis is running for election to the U.S. House to represent Minnesota's 5th Congressional District. She is on the ballot in the Republican primary on August 9th. And behind Republican Cicely Davis is Jerry's Foods. So in 1947 at Grandview Market in Edina, Jerry Paulson was the neighborhood butcher. He's the kind of man who knew all of his customers by name and cut their steaks and chops to order. At Jerry's Meat Counter, there was no such thing as self-service. You got full service, and you always got what you wanted and a little more. Today, each Jerry's food store is an integral part of the store's neighborhood. From specialty foods that reflect their locations to hiring practices and services, Jerry's Foods has remained committed to sustaining Jerry Paulson's dedication to personalized service, his passion for food, and the importance of a family work environment. Jerry's Foods is a gold sponsor of today's parade. Oh no, the Irish are coming. Just kidding. The St. Patrick's Day Parade is an annual celebration of all things Ireland. We welcome the St. Patrick's Association in their second appearance in the Edina Fourth of July Parade. Here we have Miss Shamrock Christine and Mr. Pat Peter. 
And behind them, Dewana Witt if was running for Hennepin County Sheriff. And behind them, Ambrosia Coffee. It's a little secret here over at Centennial Lakes. Everyone at Ambrosia Coffee is passionate about brewing, serving, and creating quality beverages for customers. It's actually located in the Centennial Lakes Medical Building, and it's open for business Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. and 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturdays and Sundays. Behind them, the Dino Lacrosse Association offers lacrosse opportunities year-round for girls and boys pre-K through 8th grade, with the main season mainly between May and August. So marching today are some great current players in the summer season handing out candy with their cool lacrosse sticks. Edina has a reputation for a strong lacrosse program, which has led to excellent high school varsity girls and boys teams that compete at the top level in their conference and section. Behind them, Ryan Wilson, Minnesota GOP endorsed candidate for state auditor. Ryan is a resident of Plymouth. Dinah resident Henry Long is his campaign manager. Behind them, Lunds and Byerleys have two stores here in Edina, one located at 50th and France and another at, at Hazelton Road and France or Avenue in the greater South Hill area. These two beautiful stores provide high quality groceries and services in beautiful settings. Lunds and Byerleys is a gold sponsor of today's event. And behind them, Ellingson and Ellingson is a local firm of certified public accountants celebrating over 35 years in business. They're a gold sponsor of today's parade. While Christensen and Lowy are a silver sponsor of today's parade. So the River City Rhythm is what you're listening to right now. They were founded to serve the Minneapolis-St. Paul metro area by Executive Director Bo Hansen in the fall of 2009. Initially, River City Rhythm functioned solely as an indoor drum line, competing locally in the Minnesota Percu Percussion Association and nationally as part of Winter Guard International World Championships. Behind them are the Edina Baseball Association. The Edina Baseball Association is for players entering kindergarten through fifth grade in the 2022 to 2023 school year, ages five to 11. The season runs six weeks from August 29th through October 9th and includes a tournament the last weekend of the season. Teams are organized based on such factors as schools and experience level to balance teams. Efforts are made to match play with request, although it's not always possible. Teams are led by a parent coach and it's ideal to have two to three coaches per team. And behind them, another sports group, the Dyna Basketball Association, or EBA, is a nonprofit group governed by a board of directors, mostly made up of parents with kids in the program and or non-parent paid coaches who meet monthly to discuss the ongoing efforts to maintain EBA park and rec programs in its entirety. The purpose is to deliver basketball opportunities for boys and girls grades K through 12 who live in and or attend school in Edina. Wow. 
Behind them, the Braemar City of Lakes Figure Skating Club, founded in 1966, and it actually calls Braemar Arena its home. With, o with over 143 active members, the goal of the skating club is to develop skating skills, foster a healthy environment for young athletes, and promote the love of figure skating. Next up, the Aqua Jesters. The Aqua Jesters began in 1946 by a group of executives in the Minneapolis area, many of them from the Star Tribune newspaper. They say it was a great way to entertain the kids during the new Aquatennial celebration parades. It had been an all-men's club until 1976 when women were formally invited to join. The club is now a mixture of men and women of all ages who enjoy volunteering their time throughout the year, entertaining children, young and old alike. I'm scared. That is, uh... <laughs> I say I'm scared, but actually, you know, the effort that it took to make that, I'm impressed. I wish I could build something like that. <laughs> So behind them are the Minnesota Equestrians. The Minnesota Equestrians is a women's precision drill team made up of members of all ages. They perform at local parades and county fairs throughout the summer. This will be the drill team's 16th year appearing in today's parade. Well, you know, when you gotta go, you gotta go. It's all right to pick up that poop. It's better than leaving it out there for some poor kid to step on, right? I like how thorough of a job that young man is doing. He really made sure the poop was gone. Excellent work. So now the group behind them, let's see. Ooh. Thankfully, that young man did his job. So the young men and women behind him Part of the Dyna Wrestling crew can walk freely. So the Dyna Wrestling team features boys and girls in grades K through 12, and they're all eligible to be part of the wrestling program. And it looks like they're actually doing a demonstration. Let's take a look. Well, they may have future careers in the WWE. You never know. They start off here, they work their way up. You could be looking at the future rocker Hulk Hogan. But my favorite was Macho Man Randy Savage, especially when he did those Slim Jim commercials. I'm not going to advertise for him, but you know, it's pretty awesome. And behind the wrestling team, Easy Mo is a silver sponsor of today's parade. Easy Mo is the world's most advanced robotic mower. You know, it's funny, one of my neighbors has that thing and I'm so jealous because it just creepily moves around like an outdoors uh, Roomba. But the grass always looks good. Eh, go figure. And behind them, Don Samuels who is running. Oh. 
running for Congress. So what you're seeing right now, excuse me for earlier, Don Samuels is challenging Representative Ilan Omar in Minnesota's 5th Congressional District. Don is a Jamaican immigrant and has lived in North Minneapolis for the last 25 years. Don ran and served three terms on the Minneapolis City Council and one term on the Minneapolis School Board. After the recent surge in crime in Minneapolis and the surrounding area, Don's neighbors once again asked him to run, this time for Congress. The Soccer Association is behind them. Soccer is awesome, especially in the rain. Behind them, the DFL party is showing up and handing out tons of candy. Founded in 1983, the Cracker Jacks Drumline is a drumming ensemble for ages 15 and older. Built to perform and entertain, the ensemble is designed for anyone to enjoy as they invite the audience to be equal participants in their performance. They keep things light, fun, fast, and fresh. Crowds are amazed by what they're able to do with a few people and some simple snare drums. Whether playing something they've never heard before or playing their favorite songs in a new and exciting way. And behind them, Ryan Winkler is running for Hennepin County Attorney. And behind them, Edina Ultimate, also known as Green Lantern, is currently one of the largest and most successful Ultimate programs in the Midwest and six-time Minnesota State Champions. Edina Ultimate's program goal is to provide an engaging environment for Edina students where they can learn and play the sport of Ultimate. Participants will always show the greatest respect toward themselves, teammates, opponents, spectators, and the community on and off the field. And behind them, the Edina Hockey Association provides programs aimed at creating a fun, fair, competitive, and safe hockey environment. Programs are meant to increase participation and provide the opportunity to improve personal skills while developing respect for others, self-confidence, and teamwork in student-athletes. And behind them, the Rio Brass has delighted and entertained audiences throughout Minnesota's Twin Cities metro area since 1999. Formed of over 50 adult musicians, Rio Brass is a non-traditional rock and brass band. Let's take a listen.
And behind the ban is Martha Holton Dimmick. Martha Holton Dimmick is a candidate for Hennepin County Attorney from North Minneapolis. Martha has served as a nurse for 12 years, the criminal deputy in the Minneapolis City Attorney's Office, and a judge for the past 10 years. And before that, Job's Daughters was going by. Job's Daughters' mission is to create confident young women, respecting tradition, and shaping the future. Their members learn invaluable skills that increase their confidence and prepare them to lead. And behind them, the beautiful sounds of the Harmonic Relief Show Choir. The Harmonic Relief is an adult show choir that has been performing in the Twin Cities area since 2000. The group has built a reputation for providing outstanding vocal harmonies through its repertoire of folk, rock, show tunes, jazz, and contemporary music. And behind them, the City of Edina's Energy and Environment Commission salutes Edina's green businesses. The EEC recognizes businesses that model green and sustainable actions. Since its launch in May 2019, nearly 20 Edina businesses have earned the green business recognition in gold, silver, and bronze levels. Earning the gold designation were accredited Investors Wealth Management, Lunds & Byerly's, Western National Insurance Group, and Wooden Hill Brewing Company. Organizations with the silver designation are Edina Community Lutheran Church and Sound Gate Hearing Clinic. Close Mentor and Serge and Jane are bronze level green businesses. Behind them, Kate Agnew. Kate Agnew is running for Edina City Council. She currently serves as chair of the Edina Planning Commission. And behind Kate, Sarah Swati, sing for Hennepin County Attorney. And behind them are the Minnesota traditional Morris. It's a men's English folks dance team dancing a style of Morris originating in the Cotswold Hills of Central England. Hence the style is known as Cotswold Morris. Morris dancers are performed by one to eight team members dancing to music provided by violin, melodeon, pipe, and tabor, even the voices of the dancers themselves. Behind them are the Boy Scouts of Edina. Next is the Trance and Dance Experience. Trance and Dance Experience provides quality dance classes in Edina and the surrounding areas, including Bloomington, Eden Prairie, Hopkins, Minneapolis, Minnetonka, St. Louis Park, Savage, Shakopee, Chanhassen, Chaska, Brooklyn Center, Brooklyn Park, Lakeville, Egan, and Burnsville. This dance studio strives to offer a family-friendly, wholesome environment for students aged walking to adults, no matter their ability or commitment level. They have competitive and recreational dance classes available year-round. Trance and Dance is a bronze level sponsor of the parade. Yep. Next up, the Edina Garden Council is composed of five individual garden clubs. The members meet in the city's greenhouse at Arneson Acres Park in the winter to plant many of the flowers planted in Edina's parks. The members also conduct an annual plant sale at Arneson Acres on Mother's Day weekend. Proceeds are used to improve city parks and provide horticultural scholarships. In addition, members conduct educational programs and tours and support horticultural efforts at Arneson Acres Park. The rest of the year, each club conducts its own programs. Hi, 
I know you can hear the heavy drum beats behind me. Then so Daiko Japanese drummers offer loud, energetic performances that combine music, dance, culture, and pure athleticism. The group regularly premieres new work, adding their unique voice to the expanding canon and innovation of North American Taiko. Through performances, studio classes, and school residencies, Enso Daiko has taught thousands of students of all ages and abilities. Enso Daiko is driven today by Terry Allen, Bobby, and Steve's Auto World. So before we sign off, we'd like to thank the committee members who put today's parade together. Co-chairs Mark Sifferlin and Patty Dronin, past chair and advisor Tom Gump, Mary Brindle, who coordinated entertainment, Tina Borer, communications, Amanda Clark, City of Edina's liaison and logistics, John Curry, the Veterans Group, Cheryl Gunnis, Edina Public Schools, Ann Platt, logistics, Edda Rivers, sponsorships, Annie Schilling, Edina Public Schools as well, and Jeff Stotts, who put together the Veterans Dinner and Logistics. On behalf of the Edina Community Foundation and the City of Edina, thanks for tuning in. I'm Dietrich Nissen. Have a safe and happy 4th of July.